Ahoy, and welcome everybody. Uh, this is going to be my first Minecraft video. Uh, I may or may not make more. Um, you can obviously tell I'm in a creative area because I have a bunch of random shit just lying around. And I have the ability to fly. So, uh, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, preface to what's going on here. I am about to show you my first Minecraft survival video. Me just screwing around in a creative world while I'm talking to you. Um, yeah, I have been having fun in both creative and survival. Uh, it's been a while since I played, so this is a ton of fun, especially with all the new stuff they've added. So let's jump into it. How about it? Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You want a pirate? Yeah. Alright everybody, so I haven't been playing Minecraft for probably the last, I don't know, seven years? Something, something like that, seven years I think. So I jumped back in recently just to check out some of the new stuff that got added in, some of the new features, items, uh, whatnot, and... I decided to jump into a survival world and just see what everything was about going on uh, recently. Um, after a couple of hours in game, I have my little kelp farm here. Um, I was trying to set it up to automatically, when I farmed it, to go up the item elevator here. But, uh, yeah, that I didn't get that set up the way I wanted to, so it's just sort of here now and I just throw the items in there. This is actually my starter base. This was how things started. I started off with this little guy here, uh, just a small little base, and then I expanded it out a little bit, put some walls around here, started making some small farms just to get things going, and I got my portal to the nether right there, and as you can see here I've got my storage, my uh, wonderful smelting machine here, and my bed, fish tank, and I used the fish tank initially as a place I could fish until I got enough stuff to make this guy right here, which is my AFK fishing station. I basically started off with the wheat farm, make bread and whatnot, keep myself going, um, found a mine shaft with a spider spawner and I got a ton of string from that so I made some fishing rods and I fished up enough stuff to actually enchant pickaxes and everything else and built this up a lot more eventually found a place to start getting some obsidian after I got my first diamond pickaxe uh, I've been using this to enchant and combine things that I fished up and this was just where I basically spent all of my time was uh, this was originally the entrance to my mine instead of where I moved out there and then this is where I was working on some redstone for the kelp farm uh, that I eventually just abandoned this and started filling it all back in because uh, just the kelp farm was not as efficient as I would like it to have been. It was so much more efficient for me to come over here and AFK fish for a little while and then come out, clear out all the kelp, and then come back in here and AFK fish for a while and just repeat that process so that I could actually make kelp blocks for smelting. So what we were looking at before was the starter base. It was this little guy here that I have since started to demolish and expand. Uh, you can see the space I've got laid out here that is going to be my full base whenever I'm done with it. Um, I have replaced my kelp farm with a bamboo farm. Uh, this thing is nuts. Uh, this zero tick mechanic that they put in. Uh, you can just farm massive amounts of bamboo and I mean, you can see here I've got all this set up to come in here and then I've got my little clock here that is shooting it out of the dropper from the hopper line 
and it's going up the item elevator, and it's coming in here, and it's filled up this chest here. Uh, that is my fuel for my furnaces. This is loud, let's shut that off. Um, yeah, basically, uh, I still have my little AFK fish farm here. Uh, I've got my enchanting area down here with all my bookshelves. And then I have my item storage system for the AFK fishing, so I can leave it overnight if I need to, and this will fill up. And then I have my lava pit over here to toss the crap I don't need or don't want. More storage, lots of enchanting books, lots and lots of enchanting books. I've also got some enchanted fishing rods and bows. I've got tons of building materials. You'll see why. I've got building materials laying all over the place in a second. Because um, I was actually working on all of this redstone and everything for this guy over here. Let me just walk past and out the door. I spent God knows how many hours over a couple of days clearing all of this out by hand, dealing with lava and water and everything else this is a slime farm i need sticky pistons so yeah made a slime farm this slime farm is based on a design that i got from il mango uh, i will link his video to this in the description the design itself is not exactly the same as his uh, it's very similar to one of his designs that he showcased uh, that is very, very efficient. Let's actually go down and look at this real quick. Uh, this is my elevator to get in and out. You can see it right there. But yeah, this, uh, this slime farm is actually quite efficient. Uh, this is just a little while of running. I haven't really ran this for too long. I just recently finished it. So you can see it is producing in nice quantities here. Uh, I don't have the most efficient version because I don't need it. Just for me testing it out and playing with it uh, on a solo game, I do not need the most efficient version that he has available. But I mean, you can see uh, I had to get some resources from the nether and whatnot. Uh, I've got a ton of redstone and gold that went into this thing. Some of it I actually farmed from clearing all of this out. I mean, you can see there's still some iron and stuff in here that I didn't grab uh, while I was clearing it out. You can imagine how much more was in here. I even found some diamonds. But the entire thing uh, was completely worth it, I'd say. Just because it took forever to do does not mean it was not worth it. Now, I am still working on the base, obviously. And you can still see I've got the remnants of my old farms that you saw uh, in the uh, short clip from where the base was before. Uh, sugarcane, I will eventually make a, another zero-tick farm just for the sugarcane because there is a zero-tick farm uh, that is just as efficient as this bamboo farm. And I will link the video for those two farms in the description as well. Uh, they are absolutely amazing. And you can see I've got my little boat launch here, so if I need to go off into the wild blue, I can do that. Oh, there's a wandering trader. Go away. Never has anything good. Now, you can see I've got, like I said, my mine entrance right there. And I've got my exit into my sand farm over here. Because I found out, since this was going to use so much glass, as you can see, and then I covered it with glass again, uh, I figured I would set this all up right next to a sand biome. And I have been absolutely decimating the sand from the surrounding area for all of this glass. <laughs> So, uh, that's where things stand right now. Uh, I have been playing around a little bit with the new redstone items and the new redstone mechanics, as well as, obviously, uh, the mechanics for things like the AFK fish farm here. And I'm digging it so far. I like the... 
I like all of the, the changes they've made, but uh, you can see I've got a ton of items from my AFK fishing. There was just way too much stuff coming in from that AFK fishing, and you can see all the materials I've still got left over lying around in various places from building the slime farm. Um, I had to get a ton of iron, I had to get a ton of redstone and gold and everything else. And I, like I said, I still found some diamonds, so, uh, along with my other diamonds that I've found through my mine, uh, I've also got the diamonds I found while making the slime farm. So, it's not only efficient to have a slime farm, it also pays to have a slime farm. Um... I've got my nether quartz and stuff from my trips into the nether. And, I mean, I'll show you what happened when I first went into the nether. This was uh, very annoying and unpleasant. Uh, my nether portal actually spawned in right over top of a massive freaking lava pit. There was absolutely nothing underneath or around it. It was just hovering in the air over a massive lava pit. So I built this little platform and box and the pathway going over to solid land so that I can actually, you know, do shit in the nether. As opposed to what I was doing before, which was falling to my death as soon as I walked through my nether portal. Yeah, not fun. Lost my first diamond pickaxe and a couple other things. Uh, I get... Pigman coming in, uh, visiting me occasionally. But yeah, this is where we stand right now. And I will continue working on this. And I think I might actually, uh, make some more videos on Minecraft. Uh, I started working on a creative world as well, just to play around with some of the mechanics and things that I didn't want to take time to waste materials on in my, uh, solo survival. But, uh... This has been fun. I'm, I'm digging it so far. I like the changes and updates they've made. Um, and they did recently add, in the latest snapshot, bees and mechanics related to those bees. So I can't wait to mess with those as well. Oh, this is where you go from a starter. Uh, jump into a survival world, make a small little hut, and then uh, AFK fish and mine your way to success, I guess. This was all... Me getting back into Minecraft after seven years. Um, yeah. Some of the stuff still transferred over. I like the fact that I can still use some of my knowledge from seven years ago to actually survive in this and build up a lot of interesting things. I can't wait to see what else they've added that I haven't found yet. And I can't wait to see what other redstone treats I have that I can play around with because I'm enjoying the slime blocks and the uh, slime pistons and everything else. Uh, this is a lot of fun for me so far. So we will see where this goes and um, hopefully I will actually have more videos on what I'm doing and what I'm up to. I do have one that I'm planning on doing. It's a whole bunch of castles that I am actually building in creative. Uh, that are quite interesting. Uh, I did originally just come up with a design for one, but then I decided I'm going to do four of them. I am going to do a earth, wind, air, and fire. I'm doing it with four elements. I'm going to do an elemental castle area. Won't that be interesting? But more survival fun and more creative fun to come after this. Uh, if everyone actually likes this, if everyone wants to see more of this, I will show you more of this. Otherwise, I'll just keep playing on my own and say screw you. So, starter base, couple days in. It's amazing what you can do in a few days in Minecraft. No idea where that went.